welcome to the second installment of Declutter Diaries. Today we're going to be doing things just a little bit different. Last time we were attempting to tackle an entire room. We pretty much conquered my very messy office slash filming room. But today we're actually going to be addressing a big root of the problem, which is my dominating clothing collection. Today we are going to be going through as many of these boxes as we can get to. I'm not sure how easy or difficult this cleaning process is going to be for me. I don't even know what we're going to tackle behind here. We might find items from high school, from my college days, from a few years ago. I really kind of don't know what is in these mountains of boxes behind me, but I am pretty convinced that they are all clothing items. I don't know how much I'm going to hold on to. I know that this might drive some people out there crazy, but I have a section of my closet that I'd like to potentially devote to memory items, which would be not necessarily things that I would wear again, but just clothing items that bring about a distinctive memory for me. So a lot of you guys suggest like, oh, just take a picture of it. And that does not work for me. I have so much regret for some things that I know got destroyed or lost, and I'm just continually on the hunt for these items. I have a picture of it, but that just doesn't do. Like, for example, I literally think probably about every other day about this shirt that was so awesome. I got it in the late 90s, and it was an outfit that I wore to my first day of high school. It was a mesh long sleeve sleeve shirt and it looked like clouds and it had green apples all over the clouds. Like I said, I've got a picture of me wearing it. I can picture it in my mind, but it's not the same. Like literally once a week, I look for this thing on eBay and Etsy, but I'm basically just trying to avoid having that happen again. That being said, I do feel like I need to get a grip and I do feel like I need to get rid of a lot of stuff and items that are in good wearable condition obviously would do someone else a lot more good than me just hanging on to them in plastic tubs tubs. So where I'm going to let myself hang on to some items because they give me good memories, I am going to also try and um, build a bridge and get over it and donate as much as I can. So goal of 50 items. Can she do it? Let's get digging without further ado do. We got a long way to go and I'm putting it off. It takes me a long time to work up the courage to do this stuff because I just don't like getting rid of stuff. I don't, I don't know what to say. I know it's a problem. Everyone has problems. This is my problem. I can't pick them up. Otherwise I would do that to be like, this is tub one. I love this shirt, Real Akuma, so adorable. Still has the tag on it. I definitely like baggier shirts. This is a small, so we're gonna donate it even though it is so adorable. This is an item from the thrift store that it looks like I haven't done anything with. I'm gonna keep this. It's definitely my goal to get into more DIYing and clothing altering this year. So anything that's a really great base like this, I'm gonna go ahead and keep for a rainy day. Oh, see? This is something that I feel like I would have a harder time getting rid of, even though I don't feel like I would necessarily ever wear it again. I made an outfit of the day with this lime green. It's like a high, low dress. I'm gonna keep that. I think I've said it in a video before. Those are the things that I have a particular hard time getting rid of are items that I've used to make videos for you guys. Cause I feel like this, like YouTube is basically like my entire life and my entire life story. I don't like to part with that stuff. This piece is definitely not going anywhere. I took an Instagram photo in this and I absolutely love this item. It's an amazing hat that a Swamp family member made for me. I definitely think this is a box that I had to hastily pack up when my parents' house got flooded. This is another piece that I got from the thrift store that I haven't taken the tag off of yet, so I haven't worn it. It's like this vintage corseted dress, long, kind of has like a princess cut to it. Definitely torn about that. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle pajama pants. We'll let those go. Oh my God, I haven't seen this in forever. I used to wear this tank top like 
every day. Maybe there's even some of my earlier videos that I was wearing this, but I found it thrifting and I loved it. I don't even know what Jack Daniels Wooter Hooter is, but that always made me laugh. Can't get rid of that. Oh my gosh. My sad little smashed German hat from Walt Disney World. I used to wear this like every Disney trip. Oh my God, how about this little vintage gym? It's the Grim Reaper and it says Party Prowler, which is actually kind of dark. Why would a Grim Reaper be at a party? What's he doing there? Killing people? Sippy sippy while we reflect. I've always loved the Grim Reaper. I don't know why. I don't think he's somebody you're supposed to love. Here's another pretty princess 80s dress. I'm just torn about these, you guys. We've got this like vest. This is something I'm kind of on the fence about, but I bet I can let it go. I'm gonna be brave. I'm gonna let that one go. Here is a piece that I love. It's when American Apparel still existed and it's this tie-dye onesie, but it's very soft. I was wondering where that thing went to. Hopefully you guys don't find this boring. A lot of times I feel like this is a lot of what the decluttering process is. These boxes just follow me wherever I go. And I feel like until I've got all of my clothing together, like it's forever impeding me from organizing my closet. Cause I have always wanted to organize my closet by theme. And I feel like until I know everything I have, like how can I possibly organize it. Vintage denim jacket that I thrifted. Kind of torn about this one. Tie-dye from the thrift store. I don't know. What do we think about these crazy shorts? I kind of like them. They are vintage cotton. I feel like these have got to be from like the 80s or 90s. I really like the print. Nowhere but Texas. Oh, these are cute. Black flouncy shorts. I just don't know if I'll ever wear these. Leather shorts that I got thrifting. So I'm feeling discouraged because I know you guys are gonna be like, you're not getting rid of enough. I feel like this had to be when I was trying to do 100 layers of camo and 100 layers of tie dye at the same time. I was going thrifting a lot and I was kind of trying to see which I would be able to get 100 pieces of. Like it sounds easy, but when I actually dove in to start to do it, it was a lot harder than it seemed. I feel like I should only pick the ones like the patterns that I really like the most. Tie-dye, it's hard for me to part with because I'm like, oh, each one is different and unique. Green and white, I can let go of that one. This is so hard for me to part with, but I don't think there's any way I can wear this anymore. I think it got shrunk or I got bigger. I used to have like absolutely 0% boobs and now I've kind of grown some boobs. I feel like I can let this one go. It's like terry cloth orange and yellow. Yeah, I feel like I can let this one go too. A Unif shirt. Life is hard. I don't remember where I got this. I think in Austin sometime. It's like a vintage Coors beer t-shirt, but I just thought it was funny with all these like farm animals on it. These little tiny shorts. How are these shorts? What am I looking at? Okay, I can let those go. I feel like I don't make as much progress as I ever want to. I feel like I've kept so much stuff. I know you guys out there just probably have to be Somebody out there's blood's boiling. Shorts, so cute, but would I ever wear them again? This is very cute, but I'm gonna let it go. It's like a red cardigan with three skulls and crossbones on it. Oh, I loved these, but these are a 25. I doubt if I'll ever be a 25 again for the rest of my life. Let it go. What are you? I think this is from Jack Vanek and I like it, but I think I can let it go. We've got a cloud shirt. It's cool, but we're gonna let it go. Sailor Moon shirt on the fence. There's not a, a chance I can wear this again. This is Unif and it's extra small. Oh my God, never gonna fit in that again. I don't know what possessed me to ever in my life order an extra small. Plain black velvet leggings. I think I can donate those. I don't remember where I got this. It's like a black lace embroidered top thing. I will donate that. Oh my gosh, a terrible wish knockoff of Suicide Squad Harley shirt. That is a definite donate. I'm a member of a secret internet girl cult. I feel like I've almost donated everything in this box. I think this came from Loot Crate. I don't even know what that is. Donate this dress. Very cute. It's like a bodycon dress that I bought from Forever 21 quite some time ago. Donate. 
I think that that was actually in a haul video. I'm like 104% tired. Accurate. We're keeping that. Oh my god. I don't remember where I got this from, but I thought this was the coolest bag ever when I got it. It's like a triangle. And this was when everybody, like, you just, you just held up a triangle. And everybody on the internet was like, Illuminati! And for whatever reason, I liked that. What is this? Oh, it's an Oscar de la Renta underwear top. Keep. Black flouncy skirt. Donate. Oh my god, I got this forever ago from the thrift store and I thought it was hilarious. Living the dream and it's got like a flip phone, a wad of cash, a beaded belt. That's pretty cool. I'm kind of torn. I think I bought this off of Wish for some reason that I don't understand. Fair warning about clothing from Wish, especially with t-shirts and stuff, they act like they're going to be cotton, but they're not. Like this is like a very uncomfortable feeling fabric to me. Oh my God, how do I have a limited to frequent buyers card down here? We've got this much ready to donate already. Godfather horse head pillow. <laughs> We've still got a mountain to deal with. I don't know if these lights are making these better or worse. What is this? Oh my god, is this the black milk dress that I've been looking for forever? Indeed! It's actually really cute and reversible. You can wear it like this and have a low cut back or if you're wearing like a really cute like another black milk piece under it then you can wear it this way and kind of show more of what you're wearing in the front. That is a definite keeper. Not going down with the ship. Ugh. Donate! What is this? My god, it's leggings. I'm literally just like, what? What am I looking at? It's a funny hat. <gasps> Ooh la la. I feel like getting rid of the American apparel stuff is gonna be very challenging for me. Like in the early 2000s, American apparel was all I wanted to wear. And kind of like every Friday, not every Friday, but lots of Fridays after work, my mom and I would go to American Apparel together and we would have these like super, we called them girl parties and we would go on like special super fun shopping trips. So I feel like a lot of the American Apparel stuff, even though it might not fit me anymore. I feel like I'm gonna have a hard time letting you go, baby. I feel like I'm gonna save this unif piece, even though definitely, isn't this like a clown outfit? It's literally like a bath rug that you wear on your body. Um, but I feel like I'm gonna keep that one because it's just, it's just, it's, it's hysterical to me. This is like something I'm conflicted about because I feel like it's very cute. But when am I gonna wear this? This is definitely a keeper, still has the price tag on it. I got it thrifting, but I'm gonna keep this for Halloween because um, it is a really pretty nightgown and I feel like there are a lot of costume po 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 possibilities with a piece like that. You guys, I am so sorry if it sounds like I'm stuttering or something today. I'm actually having like a really bad flare up with my wisdom teeth on this side and I feel like maybe you guys can even tell like, does my mouth or something look inflamed? Like it is so extremely painful. It's been waking me up in the middle of the night, but I have a special medicine. So I just need to put that on it and it will be better. But I feel like it's kind of affecting my speech today. Cause like the inside of my mouth is so swollen and inflamed that it literally hurts to speak or eat or live, but we're gonna muscle through. Whew, I don't have any muscles. <laughs> oh, it's a Jim Morrison shirt. We are definitely keeping that one. My sassy bun is just getting worse. Various states of disarray is what you're gonna be seeing in this video. Sassy, 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 so sassy, sassy, sassy. Oh, that made it look so much better. Yes, somebody call Vogue and tell them I need a haircut. Oh my God, these were my favorite pajamas when I was a sweet little baby girl. Look at these little guys. Paul Frank skull and crossbones, little pajama shorts. That's a keeper. I feel like every other box I'm opening, it's like everything I wanna keep and everything I wanna donate. Uh, This, 
Did I expect that lamp to crash on me right now? No, I didn't. Okay, let's keep going. Definitely not getting rid of this. Another big fashion portion of my existence was Lucky Brand. Have I ever told you guys about this before? I don't understand. Is this rude? If this is rude, I'm gonna go ahead and say it and be rude anyway. I don't understand how these brands are like so cool for years at a time. And then it's like they get a different manufacturer or maybe a parent company or something and then they just get completely lame because that's what happened to Lucky Brand. I feel like the clothes that they used to make in like the early 2000s compared to what the brand is now is it's almost like it's just two different shops. I feel like they used to make like really awesome stuff that looked very 60s and 70s revival. Okay, I think this is American Apparel also. So, yeah, but I feel like I'm never gonna be able to. Oh, it's my Advil alarm. Sophie shorts? That's a keep. Oh my god! I got this from when Dogman and I went to San Francisco the first time together in 2005. I actually got this at the Hate Ashbury. There's like a t shirt store like right on the corner of Haight Ashbury. I think it's been there since the 60s. What is it? just a big black scrap of fabric? What what is this? What am I looking at right now? I definitely got this thrifting. It's like a high low skirt, I guess. When did I get this? Where did this come from? It's a bit hoo-ha in the front, right? But it's kind of cute. We're going to keep it. Oh my god, an old Obey scarf? I was really into this at one point, too. What do I do? Okay, I don't know. I don't know what to do with that one. Oh my god, yes! The 50 25 25 collection from American Apparel was always my favorite. I think they called it like a tri-blend. Definitely keeping that. Oh my god! Mark Jacobs? There was a period of time where Marc Jacobs was my favorite designer and it would be such a special treat to get like literally one piece ever. So I'm definitely going to save this. I'm pretty sure I bought this when he still had a store in Savannah, Georgia. Oh my god, is this my Yao Ming jersey? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're keeping this. That I took in on the sides to make it like skin tight. I was trying to impress my boyfriend at the time, God bless. Oh look, more of my crazy handmade stuff that I did. I always wanted to put ruffles on everything. Why? I don't know, ruffles have ridges? This is a kids extra large Tommy Hill and Fligger shirt. Probably not gonna button over my boobages these days. It's so crazy because I just love all kinds of like baggy clothes now, but definitely in my past life, I wanted everything to be skin tight. I was trying to catch a man. It's definitely awkward and kind of cute. I'm sweaty. I'm a sweaty beast monster. When the hell did pink ever make anything with skulls and crossbones on it? But it's this cute little camisole. I'll keep that. Oh my god! I think that this is what I wore to Dogman's senior prom. Which... <laughs> Who wears this to prom? What kind of monster? Um, but I added like a lot of black lace tulle under it. I am actually gonna bust this out and start wearing it. It is an American Apparel v-neck. I can let this one go. This is Lucky Brand. It's really cute. Or do I turn it into a tank top? I don't know. Oh my god! I loved when Disney did this. They used to have um, pirate and princess parties, which was like an after hours ticket that you could buy and ride a bunch of rides. They gave you like little gemstones and all kinds of fun stuff. It's almost like the after hours parties that they do now. Like they've got like a spring break one where you get like ice cream and um, sodas and stuff. And then of course they have like the Halloween one. But at the time it's like when all the pirate of the Caribbean movies were coming out um, and so I had this shirt it said sometimes a princess sometimes a pirate I think I wore this for a pirate costume the first year that Dogman and I were together oh my god shut up for some reason, I wore this at some point in time, like every day of my life. It's when I first started college at U of H. See, this is another one of those brands that I kind of feel like went downhill. Like I feel like when Urban Outfitters first came out, they made like really cool stuff and reworked a lot of vintage pieces. I don't even remember what this says. Oh my God, it says, I'm so bored. It's like a really worn looking hoodie. 
or maybe mine is just really worn because for some reason I just loved wearing this. I don't know why. <laughs> oh my god, please let me find things to get rid of. See, I feel like we are deep in a memory bucket right now. Oh my god, I loved wearing this in high school. Almost famous. And then the back says, for more info, talk to my publicist. This is back in the day before you had to use an area code as well. Not like this is a real number anyway, that's why it starts with 555, but I feel like this is from so long ago that they didn't even like put an area code to make it convincing. Oh my god, this is my dad's Joe Cool shirt that I wore forever, so I think this is from the 70s. Oh my god, okay, not getting rid of this. This is just like, let's look through my old crap together. This was more of the stuff that I just loved from Urban Outfitters. They came out with these really cute ruffle tank tops in all kinds of awesome patterns. Like some of this stuff, now that I'm finding it, I genuinely feel like I would like to rework it into my wardrobe. Oh my God, look at this old Obey shirt that says power to the posse. What does that even mean? My old Eric Clapton shirt. Oh my God, I was obsessed with this shirt. I used to wear this in high school all the time. It was like one of my favorite shirts. I think I put like a pink spaghetti strap tank top under it. Cause I mean, definitely it is like an over shirt cause there's only like two ties in the front. I mean, it's definitely skin tight on me now, but it still fits. So like, does that count? Oh my God, it's something else I made. I made a Hunter S. Thompson Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas vest. And then I hand wrote some of his writings. And then on the back, there's his picture and the gonzo symbol. I found a bunny hat, a bunny hat, a bunny hat. I found a bunny hat. Oh, it bonked me in the eye. How do I look? Okay. Oh my God. Okay, this is my costume from my first high school play that I was ever in. I was a chorus member of Antigone, which basically means you're an extra of an extra in the back of the back, but I still have good memories. I have not seen this shirt in forever. It says Houston Heartbreakers. I don't know why Urban Outfitters sold this shirt, but they did. And I have Houston pride, so. I bought it. American Apparel. Oh my god, I used to wear this all the time too, and I thought I was so cool. Spray tan, and I loved wearing Hollister. I tried to get a job there once, and I was definitely turned down. I definitely got this thrifting, but I feel like it's got a lot of potential. It is a long 80s lace dress and it just has like a plain cotton top. I love stuff like this, but I feel like it does take up like a lot of room. Lucky Brand, Roxy Theater. I think I'm gonna cut the sleeves off of these. I used to wear this shirt constantly. Friendly animals need friendly people. I stopped a tank. <laughs> okay. How about an Ed Hardy bathing suit? Now I'm just showing you guys things and getting rid of nothing. This is the part where I feel I kind of get very overwhelmed. Like I have been doing this for over three or four hours. I found the shirt that I wore on my first date ever. I bought it from the wet sill and I thought it was so gorgeous. Prom dress that I bought from the thrift store. I feel like it was in a haul. I feel like it's really pretty. It's like I wanna save it to make a video out of, but I also feel guilty keeping it. Like I definitely feel like somebody else could use it more. We still have one, two, three, four, five boxes to get through. 69 items out of three boxes to get rid of. I don't feel like is that bad. You know what, I'm gonna do a keep count and we'll see how overwhelming that is. I've got 51 items to try on and kind of evaluate. So they're kind of like on the cusp of, should I stay or should I go now? And then I have 66 items to keep. I do feel like a lot of the keep items is like, I showed you guys, like the first costume I ever wore like in a high school theater play or like the first shirt that I ever went on my first date with. Like, I just feel like even though those are items that I'm obviously never gonna wear again, I also don't see how anybody can ever part with stuff like that. And maybe I know that there's gotta be a lot of 
of people out there just being like, oh, but it's easy to get rid of because you got pictures. But like, I don't know, it's just not the same for me. Like it doesn't mean the same as actually being able to take it out and look at it. I feel like once I kind of declutter everything in my life, the next step then is gonna go through and be like heavy organization where I will just keep like one tub like this in my closet full of a bunch of memory clothing. But I have made the executive decision to split this video up into two parts because definitely if I just keep going, like I feel very overwhelmed and exhausted. Parting with things is not easy for me. If it was easy for me, then I wouldn't be in this predicament in the first place. Another comment that I see a lot is like people saying, oh, you're buying new shoes or getting new clothes or like buying new collectibles, but you're trying to declutter. Like I'm definitely not going for a minimalist lifestyle. That does not appeal to me personally. I do feel like I made progress. And I feel like that is the important part is to like set reasonable goals, meet those goals, and then just keep moving forward. Like, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day. Sort of towards the end of this process, I did kind of feel like maybe I'm keeping too many items. And I feel like when I kind of start with a fresher mind, then I'm more apt to say, okay, I can let this go. I can let this go. I can let this go. And since I'm not on a TV show, I feel like I should just give myself some time. Like nobody came over and threw all my out in my front yard and is like go through it in a day that's where we're at today hopefully you guys enjoyed like always i do greatly appreciate words of encouragement down below hearing that you guys are excited for this series makes me excited and gives me that little extra push to actually do it which is a good thing because i do just need to keep moving forward so i really do appreciate you guys being here with me on this journey and for all the words of encouragement and positivity you can send my way so Thank you so much, Swamp Fam, for hanging out with me today. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family, and give an alligator its wings. Also, don't forget you can hit the join button down there as well, and then you can become a Swamp Family member member. Starting at just 99 cents, you will have access to a bunch of cute, cool, different little features, special custom emojis, and when you leave a comment down below, you will have a golden gator badge next to your name feel free to check it out it's an extra optional way to support the channel if you would like to do that don't feel obliged to just kind of trying to spread the word out and let you guys know that it's there thank you guys so much for being here today for hanging out for watching and all the support that you guys have given me on my way through this decluttering journey i will see you guys again very very soon bye